Welcome back to the channel and this is actually a really really good time to get back into it because I've got some great people on now to talk about an upcoming project and some crowdfunding so before I get into that I just want to say thank you to everyone who's been patient uh, the last year and a half have been sort of ebbing and flowing you know inconsistent so everyone who's stuck by me thank you so much you'll be repaid in kind but now I'm back uh, thrusting into your face Full of knowledge and wisdom so if you do have a story to tell don't, stop laughing you <laughs> if you do have a story to tell if you're a filmmaker or anything you want, it doesn't help that you're laughing harry <laughs> if you do have a story to tell uh just link in the description how to contact me and let's get on to it but, but, but before we get into it harry welcome back to the channel it's been a while sir i know it's been a long time has it when was the last time i was on oh do you mean just just a you thing um I don't really know. I no clue. It's been so long, yeah. Harry. It's been 84 years. Hmm. 84 years, bloody hell. Yeah, I look, I look it and all. Oh, by the way, I look look a bit rougher than usual. You're not seeing that the best. I'm growing it for a character. So it's going to look a bit more, uh, you know. Oh, uh, you still look amazing, Stephen. Don't worry about that. Not as much as the Ita uh, Italians look sexy, don't it? And actually, funny enough, we have an Italian on. Um, so. Please introduce yourself, Kevin. Welcome to the channel. Hi, uh, my name is Kevin Grifoni and uh, I'm an Italian filmmaker from Liverpool. And uh, yeah, so today we're going to talk about this uh, crowdfunding stuff. And uh, yeah. I'm going to tell my story if you want. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, well, introduce me who you are and what, what you do, because obviously you're a filmmaker. So yeah, yeah. that's something you've so, done for a while, or what, what's the story behind that? So, the, yeah, the story basically starts uh, with when I was in Italy in. Um, uh, with my granddad, so I used to go in uh, filming weddings with um, with this with this camera, just uh, mm -hmm. like um, not like a professional stuff, just uh, like uh, doing something easily, just uh, like a friend as a friendly. To be honest, so sometimes yeah. we go in. Some people they have a camera, um, they just come into so they just say like um, always oh, got a camera just to video their the people, the coming mm -hmm. out, like that. So basically, I I started like that. And uh, basically, as well, my my dad was taken to the cinema when I was a kid. So that's the passion, because my first uh, thing it was like to be an actor. But, oh, uh, really? Oh, really? So... Yeah. But uh, to be an actor, to be honest, it was, I was like, uh, you know what? It's, ve it's uh, very hard, because you need to read the script. You need to remember the script. And... Uh, it's very hard to be honest so yeah, yeah. basically i one day uh, when i was uh, age 14 or 15 like that uh, i went to with my friend where i was watching this uh, theater stuff and i said like uh, you know what i want i wish they can because every time they was making uh, because I, I like uh, biography films and uh, documentary as well so mm -hmm. i said like uh, i would like to so the first time i was say uh, i want to do an animation with uh, mm -hmm. for the kids like that but uh, it was very hard because you need to draw, and I'm not like a very good draw as well. But so, oh, you're, you're like stick man as well, yeah. Exactly, <laughs> just a stick man. So, so basically, I I said, no, you know what? I would like to uh, to work with uh, just behind the camera. So basically, uh, one of my friends, because every, every point we got like a night nice movie with my friends, mm -hmm. and we said like, okay, let's choose the movie. And uh, he said like, it's the best you can choose the movie because you can see you can have a passion. So I can see you are a very good director like that. I was like, okay. So after that, I I say I try to um, I try to do like some uh, uh, film experience, but uh, it was very hard because uh, uh, you are in this small town where I'm coming from. It's called Arezzo, so it's near Florence, the city. Oh, okay. And okay. Uh, basically, um, uh, you see some people with the camera just taking pictures, and uh, I was. Like uh, I would like to take a picture as well uh, with um, with, the, with this little camera, but uh, I would like to make a video, so I'd like to turn around with the camera like that. So it was like a good, like a first start, like to see how we can move the camera as well. And um, uh, so 2015, I finished my high school in Italy, and I moved to UK. So as soon as I finished my high school, I just moved straight away to UK, and uh, so with my family. So mm -hmm. my family they live in Stoke now. So. 
Um, oh, really? So then yeah, yeah. Around into, so, so did you move from Stoke to Liverpool or did you come straight to Liverpool? No, no, I moved, I used I used to live in Stoke for four years. And yeah. uh, after so in 2019 I just moved to Liverpool for university. So that's oh, what right. I was trying to reach that one. So in 2015, yeah. I 2016 I started going to Stafford College mm-hmm. uh, near Stoke. So and uh, I start um, uh, film and TV media for foundation degree stuff like that, and uh, it was good because I learn uh, how to proper make films, and uh, so it's just like a little practical stuff that we can find because it's not just only theory, but you got mm-hmm. practical as well. But sometimes you got like uh, some uh, like a uh, funny things with the classmate as well because. Uh, like uh, sometimes you see people, they say like, uh, "Oh, I know what I'm doing. I am the best." Blah blah. <laughs> like, but uh, <laughs> you, you're in the you're in the college. I say to people, "I'm in the college, and I want to learn. So I'm not here to judge the people who is mm-hmm. the best, who is not." You know I mean? yeah. yeah, I get so, that. So, yeah, so yeah, uh, reached to that. So basically, I bought my first camera on uh, as the Canon, and uh, with the Canon, I start uh, shooting my first short film in college with. Um, uh, some friends like that. So basically, I took uh, most. Of, there was international people. I can mm-hmm. say in reality. So I, we have two Italians, uh, one from Netherlands, uh, uh, one English guy, one from Hungary, so, and uh, it was mixed mm-hmm. to be honest. So <laughs> it was like a, a crime to be honest. And uh, I remember I I started this show, and I, I was like, uh, oh, I like to make a crime TV shows to be honest. And um, before, when I started college, I wrote this this script about uh, because someone, because my previous tutor, it's a uh, he married uh, um, basically a Germany lady, uh, and uh, he was telling me the he was telling me how hard it was for her as well to interrupt with in English because uh, he understand my way because I come from another country with a different yeah. language like that, so that's fine. And um, basically, I just uh, wrote this story about uh, because. Uh, when I was in Italy, I went uh, to this place where people, they just tried to survive from drugs as well. So, right. so basically, <laughs> it's like a community in Italy. But uh, I, I just have this story around. And it's like, uh, oh, you know what? I want to write this story. And I remember my teacher, when he was reading the story, it's like, uh, it's like wow, it's a nice story, man. It's like, uh, I would like you, you can make a film like that. It's like, uh, well, that's going to be great. But... Uh, First thing, I need a crew, I need a cast. And oh, need, God. Uh, and uh, basically, I, if I want to do this film, uh, you need money as well. You need funding because you, Ooh, you cannot yeah. do it. Because sometimes, like, uh, if you want professional, you need, fun, you need to do funding. But uh, I went to, when I, I remember my first, uh, I see some actress because uh, there was a play for my first time in English. And mm-hmm. uh, it was very, it was very hard for me to, to understand because, uh, uh, coming from like a different language to an English theatre, I don't understand like sometimes the comedy, the version like that. And yeah, I, I get that. I was yeah. like that. I was like, mm, I don't know what he said. Uh, and so I was asking to my classmates like, um, so what? What? What does it mean this? What does it mean that? You know what I mean? And uh, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I, I was confused to be honest. But uh, after that, I just I learned. Uh, so before before I went to college, I started to learn English very well. So I start uh, I uh, some entry level course, uh, little like uh, some basic level English, and uh, going to the level by level like that. And um, in uh, 2019, uh, I moved to Liverpool, so that's where my scout journey starts. And, and I can uh, I can see it rubbing off on you already. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. So yeah. what they come to me is like, but are you scouts anyway? So like, no, I'm uh, I am Italian. Adopt this scouts. Away, I say that. Oh yeah, very adoptive. Yeah. <laughs> because I, I, because scouts they adopt me to be honest. So it's oh. like my it's like my second family. So I was. Oh it. well, yeah. that's the thing. You see, scouts is a very particularly diff- difficult accent to, to fathom, even for people from the UK. So yeah, how yeah. did you find scouts accent and getting around? To okay, the, things? <laughs> okay, the first time because I I used to study with uh, people from Liverpool, so most mm-hmm. of the, they are scouts like that, and. Uh, it was very, it was not difficult because I used to speak English, but just the normal English. That's uh, I remember my first time I had uh, what well, I say to her as well. Someone said to me, "This is me." So the with the word we say girlfriend, you know, and he, this is my bed like that. And I went, <laughs> uh, yeah, and I was I was to this guy like, uh, but uh, 
it's uh, is this is your animal anyway or like that? But because for me, it's an animal. <laughs> oh, it's, no, it's like a girlfriend. I was like, ah, okay. So you said bed as a girlfriend. <laughs> oh dear. So, so basically, oh. I'm so sorry for that, but uh, because uh, as a uh, as an international person, it's the same. If you if you go into Italy and you don't you don't know some word, they say like, what does it mean? You know what I mean? So, oh was, yeah, I I was, drop myself in. If I went to Italy, I'd drop myself in it every five minutes. Oh no, uh, I would not say how to say it. Uh, I'd be all. No, but that that's, that was my that was my experience because it's not just bad because uh, I come because when I come from Stoke, uh, some people say doc. How are you, doc? And uh, <laughs> what's in, it with in here we say how are you, love? And I was like, uh, what does it mean? How are you, love? How are you, doc? So, I don't know if it's the same or not. I was so I was oh. so this time I was a little bit confused, but after that. I, I start to be comfortable with the people because I see people they all smiling every time. People they uh, they nice and friendly with you. If you got like any, uh, if you see like you you're struggling for something, they come to help you as well. Yeah. And uh, after yeah. that, so, like uh, some people, they I start to speak, 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 speak like that. And people they now since the COVID time and uh, after the COVID time, people they come to me like you per, you are perfect cows. Uh, twang very well and i was like uh, well because i'm living in liverpool for three years now so nearly four years now so i was like uh, of course now i've got these cows accents you know, when uh, mm. when i'm going to live when i'm going to italy in my city people said what does it mean cows accents and uh, i'm going over there i was like uh, mm, do you want me to show what is the scout i can i can improve my cows accent uh, to be honest but uh, Honestly, people they want to. They say, can you speak in English? Can you speak in English? No, I am in Italy. I'm in my city. I'm in holiday. I want to speak Italian. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Why? Why should you? You know, it, Italian is such a beautiful language as well. It's a bit. It's a very fluid language. It's like, you know, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's that's why people they ask me if you. They say, can you teach me Italian if you want? It's like, uh, I don't like to teach you Italian, but. Uh, you need to start from the basic, I said, because oh, yeah. uh, I cannot teach Italian like that straight away. Because, uh, like, uh, I used to teach uh, to my co to my one of my, my co worker to say some to say something in Italian, and it's like, uh, okay, let's start from the basic like that. But uh, one day I was with my brother, and uh, she said to me, brother, say hi, ciao, like that in Italian. She just said mm -hmm. ciao to me, brother, and my brother was like, uh, oh, she's Italian. And I said, no, no, you just learn Italian now. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm really, I, I take my hat off to you really because I can't imagine going to a different country yeah. and, and trying to find my way like that. It, it stressed me out. You know, you must be very, very comfortable in that scenario where you, you know, well, fish out of water. Well, the first things I will say it's, uh, I will say every time to my friends in Italy, I will say, Don, uh, it's like, uh, it's sometimes very hard because, uh, like, mm -hmm. uh, you can see, like uh, uh, like all my friends, they are in Italy. So they're yeah. growing up friends, like growing up since when I was a kid, like that, they are in Italy sometimes. Mm -hmm. right? But uh, when, I come in, when I was coming here, it's the, the only thing to start in the new friendship again and uh, mm -hmm. try to build friends and friends like that. But yeah. uh, sometimes it's very hard because uh, sometimes you're working, uh, you're working too much or you are work, you cannot do this, you cannot do too much things. You know I mean? And uh, sometimes I feel like, uh, sometimes I will say people, they, uh, they say like, oh, look, some people, they just come in here, they have a good time. And mm -hmm. uh, I say like, oh, I'm working too hard, to try to get my things very well. You know what I mean? Try my best, like that. But uh, yeah. some people say like, when you get, when, uh, why, you say you're working too hard, you're working too much. I can feel like you're stressed, like that. I'm not stressed. It's just like, uh, I need to survive sometimes. You need to survive. It's mm -hmm. like a... Uh, it's like a jungle way, you know. What I mean? So if you don't survive on the jungle, it's uh, it's mm. very hard. So oh, you, absolutely! You, I, can, I can absolutely relate to that. Uh, over, yeah. like, like I said in the introduction, last year has been up really starting again from scratch, and I wouldn't, I didn't know where to start. And without people being kind and helping support me through it, you know, building my life back up, and like with little things like furniture and you know help you know what i mean it's it's, it's yeah, such yeah. a valuable thing and uh, you've had a similar experience where you've come to a new country and it's it's finding your feet again that's that's the main thing here yeah. really that's what i that's what i learned like i remember when i spoke with my ex tutor from stafford mm -hmm. we had this um, interview online uh, about uh, because i said to the guy uh, i want to be in an interview as an international person you know what I mean? 
and I would say the first time I it is not the first time I was in Stafford, my English was uh, not very well. But mm-hmm. now you can see I'm very comfortable talking with. Oh yeah. Like, yeah, you're really, really, really good. Really good. You're yeah, really, there's yeah, some I'm people very... around the corner who can't speak as good as you. I you know. really are good. No, but because <laughs> I'm um, this is my character. I'm very like in my country. We are very nice and friendly. And uh, mm-hmm. the only things I would say we. Uh, like we learn English uh, since uh, like I was lucky because my mom she's a uh, Nigerian so I uh, oh, really? so I, yeah I'm a half I'm a, I'm a half Italian half Nigerian as well so my so I was lucky because my mom she's speaking English sometime with me and I was mm-hmm. lucky because I can understand English very quicker than uh, somebody else sometimes uh-huh. yeah. adapting you you're good at adapting at stuff which is good for your filmmaking as well isn't it yeah yeah that that's what I said before like when I. When I see my, when I see some people in, uh, like I was saying before, my my journey of filmmaking started in 2019 in Liverpool, and uh, I was in uni, and uh, I started to make some promo video for the plaza, uh, for after I remember it was a Christmas holiday, mm-hmm. in January I went to, to different shop, I went to the shoe shop next to my accommodation, I went to, to Mercy Maid and uh, filming them, I said like, can I do a promo video for my portfolio like that and uh you know and that's my journey start so i said like you know, i don't want to do promo i want to start to making films so yeah after i just writing writing loads the film right loads the uh, loads the script and i was like uh, let's start like that so after 2022 i start uh, my first show film with one of my friends mm-hmm. uh 2021 i think it was and um i was with two with two girls and uh one, my friend was a cameraman and i was the director and uh, behind the camera, and mm. uh, we have an issue again because we, we don't have a sound a sound guy. We don't have a light. Mm. We don't have a light a lighting up. Uh, we don't have. Mm. So that's why I said like that's uh, it's going to be experimental show film. So soon I practiced every time. I know I was on my own like that. So soon I met uh, Harry as well. We start to yeah. I start to make connection with the people a lot. With uh, I went to like uh, in Prescott. There was a show film film in Prescott as well, and. Uh, I met a, a lighting gaff as well. I met a yeah. camera crew. I met assistant directors like that. And uh, I was talking with the people. They're like, oh, I'm making short film. If you'd like to make a lighting gaff, I would appreciate for that. I mean, so soon like that, we start to build building stuff. And uh, and uh, in uh, 2022, I started marshalling in location. So okay. so I started uh, talking with uh, new filmmakers as well. They, they don't want to be a martial, they want to do something else like that. And um, my last experience was uh, in Manchester, again, marshalling uh, uh, near Manchester and the Yorkshire uh, mm-hmm. for TV shows as well. And uh, yeah. uh, like, uh, I I met a lot of people like around, they said like, uh, oh, I am an ex, uh, uh, oh, I'm from LMA where I study. And some people said, oh, I'm from LMA, oh, I'm from this. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, that, yeah. But, and we have a connection after that, so we just make a good friendship around like that. But uh, when I, I after that, I said like, no, you know what? I want to do my own things because uh, if I'm waiting for someone, they call me as a daily on the marshal in. Uh, it's like taking ages and ages to get in, to be honest. Yeah, I so, get that. Yeah. So honest. So that's why I, I start to make a, like a lost uh, connection around because I remember this. Uh, I remember this story when I, when uh, me and Harry was doing uh, uh, the trailer for the two sides. It's called Two Sides now. The um, the trailer. And, yeah. uh, it's it's a short film about two sisters as well. And uh, basically, there was I said to the lady, I said, "I'm looking for." I went to the beer keller because I used to work in town before, so I've got lost the connection in town. I said, yeah. "I went to beer keller." So like, can I please use the outside of beer keller because we're filming something. Uh, it's like, uh, I don't know, you need to speak with the manager, you need to speak with that office, blah, blah, like that. So, okay, just pass me the number, I'm going to see. It. And I remember, I just walked away, and uh, there, was a, there was a girl just running to me behind, and just uh, tapped my shoulder, it's like, uh, said, who's touching me? I just turned around, and like, oh, by the way, are you a filmmaker? I said, yes. It's like, uh, because I, I want, I'm a filmmaker too, but uh, can I help you to be in my to be assistant director? I was like, yeah. Yeah, I don't mind. Just to share, we share the contact. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. No, I know. So, I share the contact, and she gave me uh, this contact as well because she have a friend that she she managing uh, mm-hmm. as a singer, and uh, like I, I used to talk to her as well. So she now she gonna pass me 
if I need a song, she can say, yeah, I've got some song for you if you want, like that. So just pass me. Ah, no yeah, way yeah. That. But, uh, you know what I mean? Like, that's the connection by connection. So it's networking we can Oh, say. absolutely. It's, it's absolutely crucial and vital that you get out there in person and meet people and talk to people and collaborate yeah. or or just, just, just spinball ideas. You need a strong network around you to, to support you to but, start off. And that's what I was saying to Harry at the beginning. Um, hello, Harry, down there. You're all right. <laughs> so so you've you've touched on how you and Harry met. Yeah. Uh, Harry, Harry, do you want to just explain briefly before we um we go into the crowd? <clears throat> um yeah, what how you both like what what was it about Kevin that that sparked an interest in you and how what have you worked on and yeah, go from there. Yeah, so um how we how I met Kevin was through uh Liverpool filmmakers chat thing. Mm -hmm. um, you know me, Stephen. I just connect with anyone and everyone on Facebook. Like as soon as someone pops up, I'm like, yeah. Um, no, I mean it was after the play, like sort of House Amongst the Willows. I was like, I want to do more films, and I want to do this, and I want to do that. So I just was reaching out to like filmmakers, and Kevin popped up, and I went, oh my god, that's that's amazing. That because he happened to be friends with one of the. Uh, friends I used to be um, make good friends with in college called Jordan and I saw I saw that he was friends with Jordan I was like oh my god yeah let's uh, let's sort of connect and I was thinking to myself yeah it'll be a really good opportunity to do a film with Kevin and then meet him for the first time mm -hmm. so we did a film together um, back in 2022 and it was called Don't Give Up uh, um okay. And I played a character similar to Kevin, where Kevin was trying to make it in the industry and he was trying to send all the CVs off during COVID time and no one was getting back in touch with him and it was soul destroying. So he created this character called Leonardo and that was based on Kevin oh, okay. to do with the industry, to do with the whole COVID time and stuff like that. And then after that, I did Two Sides, which was called Two Sisters. And Kev went to me, I've got these two girls. It's the main part, but I need a waiter. So would you fancy being a waiter? And I went, yeah, go on. I don't mind. <laughs> Cause, I know. One. Yeah, go on. <laughs> yeah, because that's what you've got to do, haven't you? You've got to help all these filmmakers out. Oh, do you yeah. know what I mean? Because they're, they're looking for the actors. They're the, they're the future to the industry. They're the... Like, when you look at it, like, they are the future. If you look at things that are going on right now with Warner Brothers and Paramount and things like that, they are the next generation to create in the biggest films, and they're the ones that can lead your career. So oh, that's yeah. why I uh, I made contact with Kevin, because I just thought he's a great guy, and he'll be someone to sort of know and work yeah, with. I, I would say they thought about Don't Give Up as well. Uh, yeah, it was my close story as well because uh, basically, uh, what happened in um, in 2020, 2021, I had a connection with uh, a lot of um, uh, production company like independent as well from mm -hmm. uh, like all the UK. <laughs> but uh, the only the only problem is uh, like, uh, sorry, we cannot get you in because it's a COVID situation. So we are less. We need to reduce the staff. Blah blah like that. And uh, in other things, I will say it's like uh, because I, that's why I said like uh, what Harry said before as well uh, to help the filmmakers as well because uh, we're looking for actors, of course, but we're looking for actors. They they are very they looking they want to be in the film, not just the actors. They just dropping down every single time like that. So uh, that's why sometimes I can I can see as a filmmaker uh, we can have like uh, see people they'll come and say like, yeah I'm interested. And uh, then the day they, after a couple of minutes, they said, "Sorry, I cannot do it anymore because the date because it's the date." Or they said, "Oh, I'm in. Uh, I'm outside from UK. I'm in London. I'm in." And I was yeah. like, "Why you say yes?" It's frustrating, you know, it's it's frustrating isn't it? You know, yeah. you, want, you want you also want actors, but even when you get to the end point of you've you've got your cash, you've got everything set up, you just want them to turn up and do the job. And, and, exactly, do it, yeah. and do it efficiently and you don't even know that until it's later in, in the game you know so that's why networking is key because you can sort of filter people out as you go along you know yeah that's why when we me and Harry met the first time for about don't give up I mm -hmm. remember I was I was in Ireland in holiday and uh, I don't know it was the 
it was uh, he was asking me the question about how, how do you want to make the character, uh, you know, what I mean? explain about the character like that. And I give some explanations like uh, just think about uh, think about a guy. He's got a COVID, he's in COVID situation. He's in uh, he's, he's looking for a job and it's not found, it's not easy to find the job at the moment because uh, he's struggling with uh, in, he's struggling with COVID and uh, he's at home on his own. And um, look, every time you give a phone call to the people, people say, no, 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 no. I mean, and no one, yeah. open, so someone maybe in the future, they're going to open the door as well. That's why. Yeah, absolutely. That's, yeah. That's why as well. The other things are, you said about Warner Brothers and Paramount as well. That's good because uh, we are the future, you are the future filmmakers, to be honest, because we are here to, to improve, uh, like, uh, as well, a simple story. They save uh, everything. You know, they save uh, a good things in the film industry because uh, sometimes people they just like uh, concentrating one things in uh, one story and uh, they don't know how to build the story. But uh, yeah, if it's coming yeah. from you or from your size, like uh, your background story, it's mm -hmm. it's it's easily to write the story. Like that. Oh, it's That's relatable. Why... It's interesting. It, it keeps going. It's got a life exactly. of its own. You know. And just touching on the, the bigger <clears throat> the bigger networks and the bigger um, filmmaking. Um, as we've said before, Harry, and I've said this before, those, those people, I think the future is in independent films. I don't think it's going to be yeah. with the bigger studios because they're, you know, struggling themselves to find their feet and find their way in this new world we, we call in independent film streamings and stuff like that. You can get so much content these days and they're, they're scrambling to find a path. So independent films is going to be the future, yeah. I think. Yeah, yeah, that's, uh, that's the reality. That's today. Mm -hmm. Like, I would say... I would say my opinion, like I, I, I in my city, uh, in the COVID time, uh, mm -hmm. one, uh, some people on the TAT, they was making a TV shows uh, for like a miss, like a trailer miss, trailer mystery shows like that. Now they, they're on Amazon Prime and uh, these people, yeah. they just, uh, basically, they just people, they don't have experience in the film industry. You know what I mean? So yeah. I was, I was listening yesterday, uh, I was listening yesterday an interview about these two guys. He was walking around uh, the city and explaining to these two people about uh, the stories, where it's coming from, like that. But uh, yeah, very simple people. They can make it like a very good thing. So that's what I said before. Yeah, every, every, all, we've got so many streaming platforms out there now, all looking for good content, good quality content to put on their, on their streaming service. And as you say, you're the next generation. You're going to pick that up and run with it. You're gonna be you're gonna do amazingly well. Before we go any further, we need to talk about the film that you're crowdfunding over because we could talk for hours. Um, yeah, so, yeah, no, no, it's fine. So, yeah, yeah. Let's so uh... Brie, let's let's talk about the film mm -hmm. and and what you what you're crowdfunding for and um, well, um, uh, yes, yeah, just, just just pitch it to us. Yeah, it's a very it's a basically uh, when I uh, this story started when I was in Italy. So I went mm -hmm. to Italy in November and. Uh, I was talking with my my friend and my dad, so in mm -hmm. uh, into different conversation like that. I was say I want to make a next uh, show film as, as a love story like that. So I was talking about the kiss, uh, this uh, famous paint in Italy. But yeah. uh, my dad as well. I was in the cinema with my dad, so I because uh, this is a, like a like a, not the last time we see each other in the cinema. So we never be for a long time in the cinema together. So I was like, yeah. uh, let's go to the cinema. So. So we went, to, uh, we went to watch the Marvels, I remember, the, uh, in the cinema, coming out from the, from the, from the screen. And uh, he was asking me how, how to go my, my activity for the short film like that. And he said, you know what, Kevin, they, at the moment, they, the best things there for, the, for the films now, it's a love story movie. So mm -hmm. it's straight away like that. And uh, basically, I was, uh, I, my, my dad just opened an idea for me. I was like... Uh, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna make a love story short film. So that's a good idea, Dad. So, and uh, I was over there. I was, and uh, I tried to check this. I tried to write the story. Try to, uh, because the first, the first thing was to be like a, a guy who met a famous person. Mm -hmm. But after that, like, uh, mm, it's a little very hard because you need to have a hotel. You need to have this. You know, so it's gonna be very, very hard. You need to go yeah, okay. in city center, and it's gonna be very hard to be honest. So after I, I, I say like, uh, you know what? I want to choose the story about uh, two people they met at work because, uh, because to be honest, at work is very simple. So people, because in my job, people they, 
they met uh, like uh, like um, each other at work. So I remember like uh, me, 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 my colleagues are like, oh, I met my girlfriend in here. Oh, I yeah, met yeah. Uh, yeah, that's uh, my husband in the cinema, like that, blah, blah, blah. And I was so like, it's, uh, it's, like a, okay. it's not just a chance meeting. I want to make it a is... story about uh, why I don't change the cinema from the music store because mm -hmm. uh, I love music as well. So, yeah. so I changed uh, the, the cinema to the music store to say, yeah. Let's in, let's change the story from uh, this background to to like that. I mean, yeah, yeah. So just, that's my like that. aspiration. This coming from, to be honest, and, so and, and that's what the first thing I, I want to try to do. So, what, so the idea in, uh, of January after my birthday, yeah, I yeah. just start to write the script down. Ah, so, okay. Yeah, yeah. So you have to get so it down. So when I people. write the script yeah. down, uh, I I went to Harry and I showed the, the script, and he said like he loved the story as well. So he said like yeah. So let's uh, now let's. Uh, start to progress with the uh, with the show film so we are in pre-production in the uh, mm. meantime we're going to do post-production now excellent so how much do you need because you are crowdfunding and i believe is it 200 you've raised so far it's so we've raised 275 pounds so mm -hmm. far Ooh, we need really? to raise yeah we need to raise 1500 for it right oh well you, you you've got a good start on you because it was only like what two days ago that you put it up well, I was asking Kevin yesterday, actually. Um, we, we set it up on Friday. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yes, yeah, so it's, it's nearly a week, isn't it? It's today's Thursday, isn't it? So, yeah. Yeah, that, that's good. That's good. So, um, it, so you you want to do it for the deadline, or is this going to be an ongoing process? So, while you're filming and well, getting uh, uh, well, like Well, like Kevin said, um, we've started looking at locations now. So, we've yeah. secured the Italian cafe by mine. Because I said to Kevin for the like for the short film, I because he went, oh yeah, I'm looking at different locations. I went, I live by the garden festivals, you know. We went, what? And I went, yeah. I said, there's loads of nice areas in the garden festivals that we can film in. So he came round to mine, and he went, oh my god, yeah, I like that. He said yeah, it'll be good for be good for that scene. So we've got that. We've got the Italian cafe. We've got the music store. We went to the music store and we asked them where we can like film in there. So they mm -hmm. said, yeah. Um, St. Michael's, train train. Michael's train station. He's got permission to film in there ah, as well. Yeah, I remember you saying that, yeah. Um, so basically, we're looking to shoot towards the end of May. So like 27th, 28th and the 29th. Oh, are, you, are you looking to hit the deadline, hit, hit the, the target amount before that? Or do you want it? Is it just ongoing? Well, they well. What I say before the targets, uh, we've mm. tried to reach uh, before before yeah. the yeah. the shooting because uh, we need to do the casting call by April time. Yeah. To be honest, so yeah. uh, by the end of April and the uh, first week of May time, because we need to do reads as well. But yeah. uh, the only things uh, we was trying to say as well is uh, we setting up on Friday. They said go found me, mm -hmm. and. Uh, so now we are reached uh, two hundred and seventy five pounds, but we need we need more to be honest. But uh, if uh, if we can reach that target, uh, we'll be appreciated to to have some donations from some people as well. If you don't know us, but it's just to create this uh, beautiful uh, project because uh, we have a good good crew. We just need to we need just need to have the good casting at the moment. That's the main thing. Yeah. But, uh, that's what we want, you know. What I mean? Like that's my, that's my, that's our, that's my target, you know. What I mean? Because uh, I was looking for funding before, but uh, to get the funding, it's gonna be very hard sometimes. But some people say like it's very hard, but no, we we can keep going if we spread the word, if we share the link as well around like that. We we appreciate for that to have just mm -hmm. a little like any any little donation, any little pound or little penny you can put in this donation. It's gonna be for location for pay for the location for casting crew and pay and provide food as well. And the, the rest, if we got save the money, we're gonna use for for posters and uh, as well, we're gonna use for uh, f f uh, for a uh, premier film festival as well. Uh, oh, yeah, absolutely. I was gonna I was gonna mention uh, film festivals. Um, have you got any in mind that you want to present it to, or is it? Gonna yeah, be... we. So my target uh, as uh, thirty minutes. 30 minutes or like it depends on how long is going to be the show film. Maybe we say 30 minutes. Uh, that's not more, no longer than 30 minutes. I would mm -hmm. say Norwich Film Festival by Down South London. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, BAFTA short film as well, and uh, Glasgow Leeds uh, uh, Starling Film Festival over the water as well, and um, uh, yeah, a lot of film. Like if we can have a chance to to post as well over the uh, outside the UK, like Italy uh, or America, oh, that'd be good, it? That'd be yeah, good. America, wherever. Uh, it's gonna be good. Can as well. I was thinking about can as well. So yeah. Uh, so it's a it's a good. It, that's my target for the for the for the film festival. But mm-hmm. uh, what we try to do as well, if we uh, when we finish the film, we we gonna because I, yesterday I went to speak with um, uh, my ex user from LMA. So mm-hmm. I was thinking if uh, because if we can get some actors from LMA as well. We can uh, screen the the film as well in LMA, so with the students, so I can uh, talk about my experience as a filmmaker as well. But um, mm-hmm. if it is not just that one as well, uh, I was thinking about Stafford as well, where I used mm-hmm. to go into college. So it's just, because I know he's stuff that is a stuff for film festival as well. So that's yeah. another target as well. So so that's the big. Ta- we got loads. Of, I got loads of targets around for film festival, but uh, the first thing I want to do is uh, like a little premiere for for the for the film. So yeah. that's the main thing is to invite all the people we know and say that's what we've done. That's uh, what we'll, that's what we create, and we we'll we appreciate. So you can come in here and uh, take the poster with an autograph from uh, the directors and the actors like that. Mm. And and Harry, you're an assistant producer on this, are you? Yeah, I'm an assistant director. Um, it's oh, it's funny director. enough. After, yeah, yeah, because I I said to Kevin. Obviously, I've been in two of Kevin's films now. And I said to Kevin, I want to learn something different, which is like behind the camera. I know it sounds weird because I'm an actor, but I want to learn something different. And Kevin went, well, I've got this um, I've got this romantic film. Do you want to uh, get involved in it? And I went, oh, right, okay. So uh, we, we met up and I saw, his, um, I saw his script and things like that. And I started editing a bit of a script and a bit of tweaks. So I ended up becoming not just an, an AD, but a script editor as well. And I was like, go on. Well, it's, I, I, that's why I stepped back, because I love the behind-the-scenes stuff. I, I, I like to be a part of the process. Yeah, um, you'd be, that's what I said before. You'd be welcome to come see the behind-the-scenes of the movie, to be honest. So. Well, I'll, 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 don't worry about it. I'll be there. I'll do, even if I hide in the bushes, I'll, I'll, I'll be there. <laughs> no, it's fine. Right. Yeah. You'd be welcome to come as well. So to, to have an interview with me, again, face-to-face. You know what I mean? I, and, I, uh, with, I'd, be, I'd be very happy to, yeah. With, yeah, uh, with cool. the actors as well, you know what I mean? Like... Uh, because the only things we're always trying to do is uh, first things we try to get, not just the film festival, but we say to Harry as well, try to get in Amazon Prime as well. Because if we can reach Amazon Prime, to be honest, uh, we're, we're going to have to float on the Amazon Prime as well. That's yeah. You know, yeah. But uh, that's, my, that's the target, what we want to do. But uh, some people, they say, like, uh, what is the age? So I say, like, for me, it's going to be, like, 12A for, for the films like that. Because... Uh, it's a very, it's a very simple story. It's not like any, like uh, something. So, uh, I think like uh, the the thing the kids they need to come with, they need to watch with the parents. I suggest that's the main thing. Yeah, it's a very accessible age yeah. rating. That I think exactly. Think yeah. Good job there. Because to be honest, like I work in the cinema, I I understand when uh, kids they want to go and watch like a fifteen years old movie, and you can't, you know, what I mean? because they don't have an ID, uh, an ID and uh, or the age, or whatever. Because uh, I remember I, we have an issue with uh, Five Nights at Freddy's in, uh, oh, in the dear, cinema. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, as well, this, uh, uh, what is it called? Anybody, anyone about you as well. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, uh, there is a lot of film when you're 15 and uh, they're just going over there and they say, like, uh, guys, you cannot, you're not allowed to go over there. Now, in the future, we got Deadpool and we need to be struggling with Deadpool, to be honest. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. The Five so, Nights at Freddy's one is a bit a bit strange to me because it seems like a very kiddish idea, but but it's translated in that way. And I'm, I'm like, well, who's this aimed at? It's so for me, it's it's kind of odd that uh, film. I tell you, as a, as a filmmaker, so I watched the film. To be honest, uh, that film mm. is not looking proper creepy. It's, it tastes like a Megan, to be honest. So yeah, that's uh, another one. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So yeah. it's basically. I remember when I went to watch Megan. I'm more laugh than uh, than be scared, no, me, to be me too. I was like, oh, <laughs> "What's going on there?" You know, because t- to me, because these concepts are, are being brought in from you know the teenage age group, 
Um, but they're setting the rating too high um, or whatever. It's trying to market it as a horror when it really is. It's, it's more of a, I don't know. Watch well, thriller. that's the uh, yeah, that's the, that's the that's the that's what we said before. That's the target we want to reach for the current funding. So yes, any well, that's what I said before. Any little donation or any any little pound, whatever, it goes because uh, uh, because if you want to if you want to help in us uh, to create this uh, to make this project as well, we're gonna have a good if we, we can reach the target, we're gonna have a good casting call to be honest, and we're gonna have a good yeah. casting as well. That's the main thing, and we're gonna have a good crew as well. So yeah. I want to say first things I want to say. I want to say thanks to uh, the first thing I want to say. I want to say thanks to my family because they support me as a filmmaker. That's the main yeah. thing. And another thing I want to say. I want to say thanks to Harry because he introduced me to a lot of people, and uh, like uh, you, Stephen, as well. Because I never know a YouTuber. Before. So face to face, like a YouTuber, they come into me and say like, "Oh, I want to make an interview about an Italian guy and make a film." So like, okay, <laughs> but, uh, but uh, <laughs> uh, I know I met a lot of people like uh, our runners as well, uh, Seth the producers as well. And these people, I never know these people before, but uh, I will say thanks to Harry because uh, yeah. he met you know some some of these people because he met on LMS before. But uh, that's what I say to Harry. I say, like uh, sometimes I know LMS is not an offer to meet all the people. I would I would suggest like from one of the producers. Why we don't do like a pizza night and someone just put the money inside the pizza? So someone buy the pizza and the other one just put the money inside, you know? Like oh, okay. yeah, that's a good idea. Like yeah, that. Yeah. That's uh, that's the idea. But uh, that's what the idea is. But for me, in originally, uh, I want to make this film not just for me, not just because I want to see, I want to to see myself with an Oscars or whatever. Uh, I want to be like a big uh, kind of famous person. They going out outside and they say like. Uh, uh, I'm gonna dress like elegant. I mean, like like uh, what these people they do with the rich people, like that. No, I say like uh, if I got this opportunity to reach the Oscars, I will be appreciated to reach the Oscars. But uh, the first things I want to do, it's reach, it's my target. It's the BAFTA first because I want yeah. to yeah. I want to know the other people. But uh, another things I want to do as a uh, on the BAFTA is show like my story as uh, coming from a small town in Italy to. Moved to UK and uh, from the UK, he's building his store like that. So that's why I am. Uh, so that's why my my production company is called Italian Dream as well. Yeah. If I tell you, if I tell you why it's called Italian Dream, because uh, it's a dream of the guy he wants to help the people as a filmmaker to give a chance to the people to work in the film industry and uh, just uh, in little short film like that. But. Uh, some people say, like, why you, got, why you call Italian Dream? Because first things, I am Italian originally, because uh, mm -hmm. that's my that's my target. Like that. And the second thing is because uh, I have a dream. So my dream is to be like a good director and a good and uh, with the good people, working with the good people. Because one day, maybe they, they call me and they say, like, oh, that guy, I remember that guy, uh, like it was a Harry before, because the one day, maybe Harry is seeing me on set. He's like, oh, that's my friend. You know I mean? Or someone, or you as well, you can say, oh, that's the guy I interview on for my YouTube channel. You know I mean? Because uh, I am a good person. I like to help the people. I'm not yeah. going to say, I'm not saying to the people, uh, if someone they want to get opportunity in the film industry, I'm not saying no. I just say like, uh, if you're reliable to work in the film industry, mm -hmm. you, uh, you'll be welcome. But uh, if you come in here and say, sorry, I cannot do this, I cannot do that. It's the best if you can take another time to think about what you want to do. No matter. Absolutely. I and mean, that, that comes across in your tone and in, in your attitude and how you present yourself. You are welcoming of ideas and you're welcoming of people. And I hope this film reaches the heights it deserves. And I hope you get the target as well. I will show in the link uh, in the description up to go fund me. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll share your details as well and as well as Harry's. Um, but on that note, let's let's end it there. Um, any final words um, from both of you? Take your take turns. I'd be Harry if you want. So I go in first. I talk too much other ones. No, I don't. You haven't. You're fine. No, you can you can go uh, in first, Harry. Now, now. I don't really. Like I say, if you got if you guys are willing to donate, whether it's too big or too small, it'd be much appreciated. And I mean, not just a lot to me, but a lot to Kevin as well, because. It's so hard to try and get out in the film industry, not just film, but as an actor as well. So the fact that Kevin has took the time to literally 
create a short film that obviously means so much to him mm. is actually like sort of like a dream come true for him as well. Because yeah. like there's like a TV series at the moment called Go Ed, and that was basically like it was a this uh, guy's idea of creating this Scouse sitcom, and it turns out to be like proper popular in like not just like. England, but like going everywhere else in the UK, and it's now on ITV now. So for Kevin to create a short film, if this short film did really well, it could reach not just the BAFTAs but the Oscars as well. Do you know what I mean? Oh yeah, the potential, so, yeah. The potential is, is is right there. It just needs to, it needs the funding and it needs the support. Um, this well, is what... I will say my last word. I will say before, uh, like. Uh... What Harry said, yeah, of course, uh, help him to make this a beautiful project because uh, I'm here to pro to uh, like uh, to reach some somewhere like that. But uh, my final word, I will say every time to the people, I will say, uh, if you got a dream, just uh, uh, fighting for your dream as well because uh, your dream is uh, coming through. Sometimes it's very hard. I know it's uh, it's hard to start to somewhere like that, but. Uh, mm -hmm. If you got like a friends or family that can support you as well, that's a good thing. It's the first thing to so say. But uh, I would say uh, every time, just uh, be on it. Just sometimes, don't think about uh, waiting for the job in mm -hmm. uh, in on the chair and someone they coming to knock the door. That's what we say in my country. Because no one they coming to knock your door for look for your job. So I would say you need to create a job as well. Mm -hmm. You can, uh, uh, another thing I would say every time, when uh, you film in something, the location, be nice with the people, be mm. nice and friendly, don't leave any mess. So just uh, if you make any mess, just clear the mess and uh, just say, uh, if you got pan and brush, I'll clean for you. Don't worry about that because I am uh, the responsible of the location. You know what I mean? But uh, I would say to the people, uh, making this a short film, it's uh, a good target because next, uh, for the next future projects, uh, you never know where we're gonna do. You know, maybe mm -hmm. absolutely. We, maybe we're gonna film. Uh, we we still filming around Liverpool, but uh, maybe we're gonna choose more location. You know, what I mean, like uh, maybe around the uh, Messi side because uh, it's a lovely place to Messi side to film. Man, I'll mm -hmm. just say, like absolutely. in my in my opinion, as a filmmaker, you got a lot of things. Uh, like uh, you got uh, a good, uh, like a good building, uh, old building. I know everything is by permission, but. Uh, you need to just create your own story by from the basic. Doesn't matter if your story is uh, it's too small or or whatever. Because I start uh, my micro short film from uh, two minutes to six. That's what I said mm -hmm. before. Now I want to improve myself from six to going to thirty minutes because uh, I want to reach that big target. So because people are gonna say. Yes, that's a, a good show film. That's the film is gonna be. It's gonna be it's a good independent film. It's gonna be maybe it's gonna reach the BAFTAs. Yes, but uh, he, he's got like a good story, good things, uh, good actors, good crew members because the director is working very well. That's why mm -hmm. I say to the people, don't as like uh, don't for don't uh, don't use the same people. Connection with the other people because a yeah. lot of people you can connect, so you can start to have. Uh, and as well as I say, work more with international people. Because international people, they have a lot of ideas, a lot of things that we can learn from you guys so you can learn from us as well. Oh, absolutely. Uh, yeah. And what a great way to sign off. And I, I hope that you reach the target very, very soon and all the links in the descriptions. And again, thank you for joining me today, both of you uh, on, on the channel to support this project. And thanks for being the first Italian. <laughs> ah, on, on thank, you, channel. thank you Steve uh, to inviting us in this uh, YouTube channel and I will just say uh, in my sorry if I say in my own language but uh, I want to say grazie Steve sei il migliore so oh. that's what I mean thank you Steve you are the best <laughs> oh it could have been anything it could have been Steven he's a full <laughs> anyway <laughs> no I will say in my in my I will say first thing I'll say Ciao Arezzo, that's my city where I come from. Yeah. And second things, I would say, uh, I would say in English like that. I would say, if you want to be, if you want to be, uh, if you have a dream, just carry on. Follow your dream, run to your dream, but uh, just follow your dream with uh, 
men with a good brain, not mm -hmm. with the not with the with the stomach. You need to think about what you want to do, but you need to have a heart as well. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, exactly. The, the heart. This is going from know. first. This is second, and uh, the first things from here from the heart. Yeah. Absolutely. What a great... Oh, thank you so much, both of you, for coming on and I wish you both every success with this. And again, links in the description. So have a good day, both of you. And uh, you all the best for, for, the, for the project. Say bye, Harry. Bye. <laughs> See you later. Ciao. <laughs>